Well, Linda recently took a field trip to visit some new faces at Moat Aquarium. So, Linda, tell us who you met. Oh, I met three of the cutest baby otters. They were named Huck, Pippi, and Jane, and they have a huge display at Moat. It mimics their natural habitat. You know, they were often when they were just babies, and they were rescued, and they were rehabilitated, but they'll never be able to survive on their own in the wild. But we learned on our visit they have a great life. Take a look. people be most surprised to learn about these otters that you've learned? Well, you know, I would say how trainable they are. Many people think of river otters, they think of them as cute and cuddly, but they just don't picture you maybe training them. It's all positive reinforcement based training, and it just takes a lot of time and a lot of rewards. You've taught one of these otters when you say, be cute, what does he do? So when I say be cute, he kind of looks over his shoulder like that. So it's pretty neat to see them learning and even offering behaviors. That behavior he actually offered on his own. So he thought of it on his own. I didn't think of that. So that's even more neat to see. Okay, let's get down to their sex life. How does an otter pick a mate and how do they, do they mate for life? They don't mate for life, so probably... Uh, They're more like people than we yeah. might think. Yes, exactly. So uh, in the wild, these animals are pretty solitary and they'll come together during mating season. What do you like best about these otters? I would say their personalities. Um, they're very fun, very active, and creative. As you can see, Huck came up with that be cute behavior all on his own, so that's pretty neat. Are there individuals? Do you know them individually? Would you recognize one of these in the wild? Of course. Of course. In the wild, or if, if I had to pick them out of a, a whole bunch of wild otters? I would hope so. <laughs> We're getting to know them pretty personally, getting to know their personalities. A lot of times at a glance, I can glance up and just by the way one is walking, tell which animal it is. This exhibit is spectacular. We've worked long and hard and it's so exciting to actually have them here. Um, I feel like you are almost engulfed in the exhibit, so you feel like you're right there with these animals. And we just really want people to learn about watersheds. And this is the perfect place to do it because it's so much fun. Isn't it amazing how smart they are? They told this otter, look cute, and he came up with several very cute poses <laughs> on his own. So they're watching the people as the people watch them right. and figuring the people out. They figured out what people thought was cute. Oh, they, wow. Because people that think they're cute give Respond them, and they'll get them more food, food from their right. trainer. I do like I that they have their own personal like Adventure Island slide, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that's exactly how I swim. <laughs> <laughs> on your back, feet up. Yeah, woo -hoo -hoo. my whole body twists. It is neat that they have so much personality, though. Yeah. But yes, when they asked about their sex life. <laughs> Well, didn't you want to know how they have babies? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not a personal thing with them. Any otter will do. <laughs> That's what we learned. Oh, you can see more of them right now at Moat Marine and go to moat.org for more information about the otters.